Today we're going to have a quick run through on mechanical keyboard stabilizers, in particular the two main styles being Coaster and Cherry. Basically stabilizers are exactly what they say they are, they stabilize. These are used to stabilize the longer keycaps on the keyboard, so this includes the spacebar, backspace, enter, both shifts, as well as the enter and zero key on the numpad. So this is how a keycap reacts when there is no stabilizer present. As you can see, the key is unbalanced and falls to whatever side you press it on. This is because there is only one key switch under the keycap and is obviously in the middle, which leaves nothing on the sides. So it's kind of like a seesaw situation. But then there's the question of why not just put the key switches on either side, say three for the spacebar and two for the rest. Firstly, it will add up in cost somewhat, but mainly because of course it would add to the actuation force required and therefore have inconsistent weights on the keyboard. And this is where stabilizers come in. In theory, they're supposed to stabilize the keycap while adding no extra resistance. First is the extremely common CoStar style stabilizers. Here we have a thin metal wire that spans the keycap and has hooks on the end. These hooks then go into the removable inserts in the keycap itself. So when the keycap is pressed, the wire just swings up and down. The wire and keycap inserts can be easily removed for cleaning or whatever and can be easily replaced if required. However, doing this on a frequent basis can be quite annoying because they are somewhat tedious to remove and to place back. Nothing too difficult, but it does take a bit of time. Now the other main stabilizers are the cherry style ones. Essentially, they use the same mechanism as the co-style ones. If you look closely, you can see that underneath is a wire as well, and this pretty much does the same thing. But now connected to the wire are what look like dummy switches. These however have no mechanical mechanism to it, and just freely goes up and down, offering no resistance. So really these are just like the co-star inserts that go into the keycap with the other style, but instead it's not connected to the keycap, but the wire this time. This makes it much easier and quicker to replace keycaps or do cleaning, since the keycaps just pop off just like all the other keycaps. There's no having to deal with hooking or unhooking as it is on the CoStar stabilizers. And then probably the most annoying thing with stabilizers is the inconsistency. Sometimes they'll offer more resistance, sometimes they'll fall mushy, but most of all, sometimes they'll rattle. Stabilizer rattle is extremely common and occurs when something is misaligned or is loose or is not fitted properly. This can turn a somewhat quiet keyboard into an annoying one since you're going to constantly be pressing the spacebar regardless. It isn't as noticeable on a clicky keyboard such as Cherry MX Blues because of the noise it already has, but it can be quite annoying on something linear like the Cherry MX Reds. Fortunately, since it can pretty much fix everything, applying a bit of lube can help mend this problem, making it more smooth and therefore more silent. So that's some of the basic information and terminology regarding stabilizers.